Good morning. Vlogtober day 16. I was going to look, but my watch is on my wrist and I don't want to spill my coffee. Look at my coffee cup. How cute is that? So, it's like 8. I got to double check here. Oh, it's just right there on my phone. 8.50. The kids have had breakfast. I'm rocking some serious bed head this morning. It's big and fluffy. I um, stayed up way too late last night. I was working my working on my in the light shawl. I like to work on it, put a couple rows in before bed. And I had added, I don't know, maybe two extra repeats of a two row, two row repeat. And I was doing the last color transition fade, starting it. And I realized you can't see the third color, like, at all. I'm sure once you, um, I'm sure once you, like, actually get into it, like, having just that color, it'd be more noticeable. But with having the two colors held together, you pretty much couldn't see it. You had to look really hard. So... I picked out a new color, and I started tinking back, realizing that that was six double rows, so that'd be 12 rows of about 100 and some odd stitches each. I made it about two, four, six, eight rows back, so I ripped out two of the colored rows, and then I just started putting in the new rows instead. Um, I didn't do the last four rows because I was like, it's not that big a deal. Oh, my hair is so, like, I got like 80s hair going on. You guys look at this. Yeah. So, I worked on that a bit last night. Um, I stay up to like 2 a.m. So, I'm freaking exhausted. So, I'm going to be drinking all of the coffee today. <laughs> And, hey, get that out of there. I, like, fell asleep in my makeup and everything, so. It's a no-no. I know I'm not supposed to do that, and I totally did. Look at my awesome craft mess back there. Ooh. Yeah. Um. The bird is being insane. Not a whole lot planned for today. Um, babysitting. Super cold today. Um, so, I won't be doing a whole lot outside. Sorry, kids and bird are going to be really obnoxious today. I put in the microphone in hopes that it helps block them out, but we'll see. But, I'm going to try and get a couple more unicorns done, because I really want to take some more stuff up to the pumpkin farm. I drove by to pick up... Good job blowing your nose, buddy. I drove by the road that goes to the pumpkin farm the other day on my way to pick up Leon Abbey and I saw all these cars leaving and all I could think is I have like nothing there and all these people could have possibly bought something if I would have had it there. So I'm trying to get some more stuff done because there's only like a weekend or two left before they're closed. I want really want to bust some of it out and get some stuff back up there. I got the owl pattern should be coming out today. Hopefully. <laughs> And um, I have to do some recording later because it's Tutorial Tuesday. And I got to record for a cactus pattern. So should be a pretty recording-packed day, <laughs> to say the least. Hey, guys. End of day, Vlogtober day 16. Um, just wanted to pop on real quick before I call it a night. It's been a pretty long day. Um, I did do some recording for the crochet cactus tutorial. However, the boys are cutting molars and they only slept for like, I don't know, half an hour-ish. So, I pretty much could not record during nap time. Um, I'm going to hopefully do some recording and everything later this evening after I get this up to try and get that all completed and ready to go. It obviously won't be up today for a Tuesday tutorial. Goal is tomorrow, but we'll see how that goes. Um, tomorrow, Holly and I were talking. I saw her talk about maybe doing some um, works in progress for a video, and I said we should just do a Whip Wednesday, you know, same day, do it together kind of thing. 
And she's like, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. We're going to be bringing out, like, all of our, you know, whips of shame out of hibernation. I'm like, oh, mm, yeah, there are some whips of shame hiding in hibernation for me. Um, one is a pattern I've been dying to finish for the longest time by Lee Mack, who is totally dot net. If you haven't seen her, go check her out because she's freaking so talented and so amazing. And she's just hilarious. Plus, she does a lot of book videos, too on top of her crochet and I enjoy that because I don't often get a chance to read lately so it's kind of like living vicariously through her book reading <laughs> um plus she always has fantastic rings keep an eye out for her rings they're amazing she actually did a video about her rings one time it was great off topic where was I uh cactus so the tutorial will be probably tomorrow because I, I suck at planning. I didn't plan ahead. So if not, I'm going to try to record ahead of time. I can tell you that next week, um, if I keep it a Tuesday thing, it's going to be at least, I want to do a tutorial at least once a week is the goal. It's the goal. We'll see how it goes. But next week is going to be the little crocheted owl pattern that I do. And that's a pretty quick, easy pattern. So keep an eye out for that one popping up next week. Um, but the big news for today is my big owl pattern is done and I have it posted up on Ravelry. Yay! Um, it is still listed as the $3 selling price, but if you put it in your cart and you go check out, a coupon will automatically be added to it and you will get it for free. So make sure, um, make sure you do add it to your cart and don't just freak out because it says that it's not free. <laughs> It will be free from now until the 24th, so make sure you grab it while you can because it will automatically flip back to the normal selling price after the 24th. Other than that, um, I mean, today was just, you know, laundry and dishes and feeding small humans, and the, I gave the three boys a haircut, which was hilarious because I was giving Bryce a haircut because he has school pictures tomorrow. And the other two, like, grabbed a chair and, like, sat in line waiting for their turn. Like, a little barber top. It was the greatest. I took a picture. Let me see if I can pop it in here. <laughs> if I if I can find it. But, well, the kids and I all did some, like, little handprint pumpkin art and things like that. Saying, look, at, I got... Look how professional I am, you guys. I have, like... It's toothpaste. One of the boys, uh... Had toothpaste on his mouth and got toothpaste on me, so you know, hashtag mom life. <laughs> this is how you know this is real and not staged because nobody would knowingly go on a camera with toothpaste on themselves on purpose. I don't think, yeah, make sure you go ahead and grab your free pattern while you can and keep an eye out tomorrow for the cactus tutorial um, and the Whip Wednesday vlog tober i almost said vlogmas i probably will not be doing vlogmas if i ever do vlogs again it'll probably be in like april or something definitely not october i don't know what i was thinking because october is my busy month like my really busy month september october and november are probably the worst so um i'm pretty much i haven't gotten like anything done because I've been so busy vlogging and then trying to keep up with real life. So, I probably won't be doing Vlogtober again next year. Maybe, like, the Veda or vlog Vlogmas next year, but we'll see. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's a lot, uh, a lot more time consuming than I thought, which I'm pretty sure I've mentioned. So, I probably just sound like I'm whining about it. So, <laughs> we're going to move on from there. <laughs> Uh, that's pretty much everything from today, so I will catch you guys tomorrow.